Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So recently, Dimitri from LCM Brick Show made a post on Instagram asking for some advice on how to remove the support blocks underneath his helicopter without actually removing the shadow or without re removing the shadow completely. And so I reached out and, and said, hey, just send me the video and, I, and I'll see what I can do. So here we are in, in Vegas. Now these techniques I'm going to be using should work in many of the other mid-tier to high-end editing softwares. So you shouldn't need Vegas for this particular tutorial. Okay, so starting off we have the footage and then we have the clean frame. So our first step is going to be creating a mask around the majority of the blocks and we're going to add a significant amount of feather to this particular mask and it's going to be a negative mask. And next we're going to create a smaller negative mask in the gap between the skid and the helicopter. And as you can see when we apply this mask the feathered mask is eroding some of the skid. So to solve that issue, we are going to add a positive mask around the skid. And that should fix the problem there. Now we're going to go to the end frame and we're going to select the mask and drag it down and then line it up. And again, go to the first frame and do the same thing. Select the mask and line it up, making sure that all the blocks are completely covered. And when we apply the mask, you can see that the clean frame is showing through from behind. And so now the software is going to interpolate between these three keyframes we have. It's not going to be perfect, so we'll have to come back later and touch that up. But for now, we're going to move on to the next step, which is going to be duplicating the clean frame and moving it between the two tracks. And we're going to add a brightness plugin and we're going to darken it just a bit and add a bit of contrast trying to match the original shadow as much as possible and now let's go ahead and create an elliptical mask and we're going to line that up as best as possible with the uh, with the original shadow increasing the feather of the mask the farther away the helicopter is from the ground and decreasing the feather amount the closer it is and I am also going to decrease the brightness the closer we are to the ground and increase the brightness the farther away. Okay, so now that I have this roughly how I want it, I'm going to go back to the original mask and I'm going to go through every frame and line it up. Alright, so about 15 minutes later, I finally have the mask lined up with every frame. But as you can see here, I've missed a couple spots, so I am just going to go back and redo the mask in these areas, and then we should be good to go. Alright, so now I'm going to go back to the shadow track, and I'm just going to fine tune the mask itself, and also fine tune the shadow brightness. And I'm just trying to blend it in as much as possible with the existing shadow from the original footage. As you can see here, there is a bit of the support blocks showing through. So to fix that, I'm just going to once again duplicate the clean frame. And we're going to line it up from the first point where we see those blocks showing through to the last point where we see that. And then we're going to create a positive mask and I'm going to cover those exposed blocks. And I'm going to go through and line it up on every frame. So now that we have that completed, our last step here is, if you'll notice, right between the front skid and the helicopter, there is a gap between the, the back skid where we've cut out the support blocks. There is nothing behind there to, to fill that area. So to fix this issue, we're going to duplicate the original footage and create a mask around the front skid. I'm going to feather both the edges to help blend it in. And then I want to move it behind the footage and then we're going to line it up with the rear skid just to fill in that gap. And once again, I'm going to line up every single frame. So one last thing that I want to do is, as you can see here, at the beginning of the shot, there's no helicopter. And then, once the helicopter does come into frame, there's a hard cut between the shadow and no shadow. So what I'm going to do is take a snapshot of the frame with the shadow. I'm going to import that and stretch it out at the beginning here. Apply a mask around the shadow. 
and then just fade it in. And so as you can see here, there's no longer a hard cut between the beginning of the footage and the spot where the helicopter comes in. And so there we go. That is how I removed all these blocks from the scene. It's not perfect. The shadow could use a bit more fine tuning and you could really spend all day fine tuning that, but I think it's good enough for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and export this video and then I'm gonna bring it back in and just add some camera shake and some color correction just to make it look a bit better. The video has finished exporting. I've brought it back into Vegas and the first thing I wanna do is add some camera shake and that's gonna be a pretty simple thing to do. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the pan and crop settings and go over about six frames, insert a keyframe and then go to the middle and just move the frame just a tad. So now I'm just gonna duplicate that and every so often just increase the amount of shake. And I am going to continue to duplicate these frames. And now the helicopter has reached the ground. I'm gonna slowly decrease the shake and increase the space between the frames. And so let's go ahead and play that back. And as you can see, it just gives the helicopter a bit more, a bit more oomph. It makes it feel a bit more real. So the next thing is going to be adding a bit of color correction. I'm going to add in a, a lab adjustment plugin. And so now taking inspiration from some of the classic Vietnam films, I'm going to desaturate the scene just a bit and then add a bit of a yellow filter to get that nice classic look. And the last thing I wanna do is, because the scene is a bit blurry, I'm gonna add a bit of sharpness just to get a more crisp image, get a more crisp video. And so I'm just adding a sharpening plug in here and that should do the trick okay so here we have the finished product and contrasting it with the original footage you can see it is quite a bit different and i think it looks significantly better anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and i'll see you next time